to you on this social. We pray God that you will join with us. Even as we sing, you will join with us. As we, we pray, you will pray with us. And as we, we give a word, you will ask God to, to strengthen us in Jesus' almighty name. Yes. Praise the Lord. To my senior bishop, Bishop Sylvester, present the night. King Shepherd, Ray Bradford, Reverend Samuel, Saints of God, a pleasant good night. It is a privilege for us to be here another time on this part of the ground, I must say, for the first time, living life. Praise God. Normally we'll come with the word and the word, but tonight we are acknowledging um, the late Stephen Julian and this we said mission is in remembrance of him. So we are about to begin in other name but in Jesus almighty name. Lead us heavenly Father, lead us God the world tempest us, guide us, guide us, guide us. Oh, the three 
Father God, according to the kindness multitude of your tender mercy, I ask the Lord to bless the whole transgression. I pray this, our blessed Lord, as we come on this spot of our own Jesus, Father, we ask him for restoration for our bones, beautiful village, blessed God. My God and my Redeemer, we tend the God of vision. So many good things has come from this village, blessed God. So many good people has come from this village, blessed God. My God and my Redeemer, but Satan have a desire, Lord. But I know you have a plan, this our Lord. And Father, Lord, we're going to be the hands of God this night, blessed God. We're going to be the hands of God this our Lord. We want to go to let him know this our Jesus. That you have no power, you have no say over this village, in the world. Master and friend, this our Lord. Every young boy and every young girl. They that are going as on thinking of the battle. I want you to meet them, Lord, with your meeting spirit. Meet them, Lord, as we say one day, Jesus. Going to the Damascus, Lord, to cause hammer and mayhem, Lord, and you did stop so long the way this so alone. I pray, my God, tonight, blessed God, that the evil men, the evil ones around us, blessed God, that you will stop them, that you will turn them around this so Lord, that you will blind them this so Lord, from the evilness of their hearts this our blessed God, and you will show them your light this so Lord. You would have placed a veil upon their eyes, this our Jesus. And you will have a conversation with them. As you had with Saul one day, Lord, why thou persecuted me? I pray this our Lord, Master. The other Bishop, this our Lord. Bishop Sylvester, this our Lord. King Shepherd Bradford, this our Lord. The Reverend Charles, the Lord, Heavenly Father. Every minister and servant, this our Lord. All the brethren are joined together, bless the God. And they who could not have come this hour, Lord, for your message went out, Lord. Your invitation did go out in the world. But my God and my redeeming, I remember there was a time you sent out an invitation, and there's only a few that came, blessed God. And my God and my redeemer, we learn and we understand, Lord, that many are called, and a few are chosen. I pray you bless this entire congregation in Northern name, but in Jesus' almighty name. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name, thy kingdom come. Down on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power of glory. Mm -hmm. I've been through the fire. I've been to the rain, I have no desire to go back again. Aye, 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 Oh, 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 oh,
a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a hula. I'm a sanding a dado. A dado, yeah. I'm a pleading evermore. Oh, say and where we had to press with sin, with sin. May I come in? May I? and most powerful God. Your servants stand by night to hear, oh Lord, uh, one more time this evening, Lord. Uh, oh, on this spot of our ground this evening, Lord. Uh, oh God and our Father, you are the God of all ages. Uh, you are the God of Abraham, blessed Lord. Uh, the God of Isaac and Jacob, blessed Lord. Uh, you servant come this evening, Lord. You servants come together, blessed Lord, to lift your name on high. Hey, that you may draw men unto you, blessed Lord, my God and my Redeemer. Hello, 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 hello. Mothers crying, blessed Lord. 
children die in this end, Lord. Bullying in school this evening, Father. My God and King this evening, Lord. We bring those that are not authority, blessed Lord. Those that are the decision makers, blessed Lord. We bring the police service, blessed Lord. Oh God and King this evening, Lord. We pray, Lord, that your light will shine, blessed Lord. And that understanding will come, blessed Lord. But most of all, blessed Father, we pray for your church this evening, Lord. That your church will stand firm, blessed Lord. Declaring your word, blessed Lord. Speaking about what is to come, blessed Father. That those that have eyes will see, blessed Lord. And those that have ears will hear, blessed Father. And hearts to understand, blessed Father. My God and King this evening, Lord. We pray that Holy Ghost will come down, blessed Lord. And reveal unto us the things of God this evening. In no other name, but in Jesus' almighty name. Father, what in heaven? Who is thy name, thy kingdom come? I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Riding Prince Emmanuel and Lord. Riding. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 
forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For God is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. I am coming, I wanna put on me Dina da di da da I hear a pony, I in a corner I sit away, I am coming, I wanna put on me Dina di da di da I hear a pony, I in a corner I hear a pony, I sit away, I am coming Put on me, Lily White Rose. I in a corner, I hear a calling. I in a corner, I hear a calling. I said, The way I am coming, I want to put on me. Dina, 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 I hear a calling. I in a corner, I hear a calling. I said, The way I am coming. Praise God. 
It's your present good night. I see my bishop, Sylvester, King Shepherd, the prophet, Reverend Charles, the whole house of Israel, a present good night. And those that are streaming on Proud to be a Spiritual Baptist, those that are on YouTube and Ray Prophet channel, present good night. Because you see the word of the God. Whether you're in your home, whether you're here, the word have to go out. And in the beginning was the word, the word was the God, and the word is God. You see that God, that word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. And we behold, the only begotten of the Father, which was full of truth and grace. At this time, we're going to go into the lesson tonight. We have one psalm, and our reverend is going to bring a lesson for tonight. Praise God. Unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight. That that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with Hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be with, whiter than snow. Make me hear and make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take me not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then I will teach transgressions thy way, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou, lip, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall shew forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despite. Do good in thy good pleasure in, unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. 
then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thy boat. Yeah, and that's um, 51 containing 19 verses. How sweet the name of Jesus, oh yes, Lord, in the believers. Boom, 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 he so the song, Bishop Sylvester, Bishop Basil, my elder, to our elder, King Shepherd Ray Braffitt, to my family in Christ, the saints of God, whether you are here in person or you're streaming online, praise the Lord. There's a meeting here tonight. But there's a meeting here tonight. Tell somebody. Oh, oh there's a meeting here tonight. Happy candle in a meeting here tonight. Happy Baba, there's a meeting here tonight. Oh, and tell them uh, and there's a hand the card, the card, the card, the card, the card, the card, the card meeting. you didn't know. This meeting is a meeting between Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Amen? And the saints of God, where the tombs and trees are gathered in his name, he's in the midst. Somebody say praise the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. Yes, because I'm in my hometown. Praise the Lord. Beloved in Christ, we are about to lay our edification lesson. It is taken from the second letter to Corinthians, the 10th chapter. We'll be reading two verses. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We'll be reading from verse 5. Praise the Lord from 3 to 5. Praise the Lord. Here begin at God's holy word. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our welfare are not carnal, but mighty to God, to the pulling down of strongholds and casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Here I rest at the fifths. And may God has blessings. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, will be without end. Amen.
now I'm found was blind but now I see was blind but now I see when God light a fire we don't need no matches when God light a fire we don't need no matches Because he could walk around 
and turn your eyes left and right and come and go, you feel that all is well. That is for some people that doing crime. And that is for some people that toting guns. And that is for some people that peddling drugs. But me, I good and I all right. But I want to tell you, take heed lest you take your stand and you have already fall. Because some people allow God to come upon them, but not allow him to get in them. And not allow the water of life to seep into their hearts and get into their soul and begin to deal with their consciousness. Praise the Lord. But here was a man by the name of David. The Bible said that the man was a man after God's own heart. See, when the prophet went to the house, they looked at the brothers and Samuel said, this must be the Lord's anointed. But God said to him, God do not look at man according to their hearts. Praise the Lord. You see, your looks will get some pieces. Praise the Lord. And somebody that know you will get you in some doors. Praise the Lord. But I want to tell you the place, the secret place of the Most High God, you need to understand that you can't just walk in there just like that. You see, David knew a thing or two about God. So David went on his knees and he began to cry to God because his sins came down upon him and he knew what he had did and the conviction now began to flow because he had a conscience praise the Lord and because of the conscience there was conviction to know it was not against man but it was against God praise the Lord and the Bible tells us that even though that you did it in darkness, there is something that God has is an all-seeing eye and he's able to see when man don't see. And everything that you did in darkness, he revealed it to light. I'm talking to somebody here tonight. You see, David understood uh, his nature was sinful uh, and he understood the things that he ought to do, but he fell short of it. So he now understood that the only way out is through Jesus. And he said, according to your loving kindness, according to your tender mercies, uh, blot out your transgression. Uh, you see, some things I can wash out just so. And something I could go to the shepherd or go street and I could buy myself some chlorine and I could take a product called Clorox and I could take some breeze and I could wash it off. But there are some things that only the blood of Jesus could deal with. And I don't know about you, but there is power in the blood. Praise the Lord. Because the blood that flows down from Calvary rugged cross before the foundation of the world. The Bible said that there was a lamb that was prepared and waiting just on time. And as we speak about time, this is your time. Praise the Lord. You see, when you go to God in humility and you come and confess before God, the scriptures say come boldly before the throne of God. Praise the Lord. But the devil is a liar. Praise the Lord. And he wants you to know that you too messed up to come. And you did too much to come. And people look at you and say, I remember where you was. And you're not able to come. But the power of the blood, the Bible says that there is therefore no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. And Isaiah say, the ox know where to go and the ass know where to go but Israel don't know where to go so we are here tonight to tell you come to Jesus we are here tonight to tell you about the salvation of God we are here to tell you that what is broken can be mended and what is thrown away can be salvaged because the blood of Christ there's a fountain of blood that flows from Emmanuel veins where sinners point beneath the chilly waves to lose your sinner skin cover me under your blood Lord cover me under 
Sometimes that uh, I might not share, but I play by the rules. Praise the Lord. So, so we understood David's portion, and David went to God, and because of the goodness of God, and because of the sincerity of his heart. For the Bible says that those that come to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder to this, those that diligently seek Him. Praise the Lord. It is not an act. Act is hypocrisy. But it's a genuine design from the heart. For the psalmist say, a broken and contrite heart, God will not despise. I'm here to tell you that there are some people here. In fact, all of us need God. But you may be listening to this. And you may be wondering. And you leave it there and you go home. But I want to tell you this evening that the very word that you left there will be stand as a witness to you. Praise the Lord. I come in home. Our edification lesson tells us about Paul, the apostle. Now that man was a man that had a zeal for God, but he was ignorant. Praise the Lord. And some of us parents here have a little zeal for God. We hear a little something and we come and accept it. But the Bible tells us about a sow that went out to sow some seed. But some people, because of the cares of the world, it fell among some thorns. And those of you that know a little bit about agriculture, everything needed space. So that light could come. And when light come, it could grow. Praise the Lord. But the Bible tells us that some even fell by the way. You come and you say, oh God boy, there's a good thing in Santa Cruz. Just last night, bullets fly across there. So there's a good thing. And when we have things like this, you come. But are you being that change that you want in your community? Praise the Lord. Have you understood that change begin with you? So we're dealing with Paul, and Paul had a desire for God because he was instructed so by his elders, and he was going now to the road of Damascus to bring those that were using a foreign thing, but on his way he had an encounter, and a light shine, and he said, Lord, who it is? And God says, me, you persecuted. Praise the Lord. And that's the instructions that you receive. And the man that once persecuted the church come with a letter to the church of Corinth and he's speaking about some things. Praise the Lord. And you need to understand that while you understand there's a church, sometimes you bash the church because Tom, Dick, and Harry. But I want to tell you that the church belongs to Christ. And now Paul is writing a corrective letter to get them in check to understand a balance and an equilibrium with Christ. Praise the Lord. Because once you're in Christ, you may think that you can do what you want. But I tell you that when God is ready, he's going to rein you in. Praise the Lord. And the conversation was about Paul and his authority and about letter. Because when he wrote, he wrote with boldness. And because when he comes, he comes in meekness. They couldn't understand. And they thought that he was a hypocrite. But I want to tell you that sometimes you're looking for God to come. Nice and dandy and pretty. And God coming like a little old boy like me. Praise the Lord. And he coming like a reverend. And he coming even like a, a friend that you know. And you know that the friend that you know. He's not a good friend, but listen to the voice of God. Praise the Lord. And Paul talked about some things. And he said, though we walk in the flesh, we don't walk after the flesh. Because some people think that flesh and blood could serve God. But Jesus told the woman one day, woman, you serve whom you don't know. You see, it's a spiritual thing. And if you're just doing the thing without understanding that spirit must come to flesh and spirit must spiritualize mentality and transform mind, you will understand that while you're pulling, it's like a tug of war. Praise the Lord. So hear what happened. You need to understand that there's some strongholds 
that you're dealing with. Praise the Lord. And the strongholds could be imaginations and thoughts that now lodge in your mind and has become your mentality. For as a man thinketh, so is he. And now, when it don't fit your criteria, I can't take that. And I don't want that. I want God, but I want him in my terms. You see, I, I want God, but I don't want the church. I will turn on my television and I will listen some TV jokes or per adventure and not an evangelist. But, but, but I could go on YouTube and get a nice something and see some Baptists having a good time and that's good enough for me. Praise the Lord. Or you might be coming to church but your children at home. And you have left them for the devil to come in. For the Bible said that sometimes and most times the devil comes like a sheep. But he's a wolf. Praise the Lord. And while you hallelujah and praising the devil is having his way with your children. Praise the Lord. And you wonder why your son don't listen to you. And you wonder why you're on the block. And smoking, and you wonder why he taught in the gun, and you wonder why the people that he grew up with he became enemies with, and the people he used to pitch and kick football with, he is now enemies because you left the door open. And some of us love to say, Do what I tell you, boy, and do what I tell you, girl, but I won't tell you is not what you say, but you need to back up some things. You see, you need to get up from your house and go into the house of God where in the sins dwell and pay adventure. You will get some instruction and some correction so the strongholds that refuse to go, you can move them out in Jesus almighty name. Praise the Lord. So, listen this. Salvation has come. We fed up see blood flow. And every day is another murder. But the change that you want starts with you. So you need to forget who I am and listen to the voice of God. You need to forget the clothes that I wear and listen to the voice of God and get up from your seat because by adventure you're looking at someone else and judging someone else but it's easy to see the moat in your brother's eye and not see a whole punk and a beam in yours so get up and partner you might be saying well if Harry going to church and Harry doing that well then I don't need church this is not about Harry the church as Jesus Christ said Peter upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it and Harry must answer for himself but it is between you and God praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the night. we are climbing yeah. To Woody Bishop Sylvester, to you, Bishop Basil, to the King Shepherd, the family in Christ, those present and those viewing online. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We can say, according to the hymnologists, and are we yet alive to see each other's face? We give glory and praise to Jesus' name for his redeeming grace. This evening we are here to support Bishop Sylvester in his wayside. But we understand that the church is one foundation. Amen? Amen. And we must understand that as the brother would have said, it is not about religion, but it's about relationship with Almighty God. Amen? So to those in Santa Cruz, what we came to do is just to remind you that regardless of how things bad things might be, regardless of the condition or the situation that presents itself, 
there is still hope and there is still room at the foot of the cross. You see, we must understand that we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And nobody is better than anybody. So there is still room at the foot of the cross. Amen? I want to tell you all today that as we gather and we send our word out, pray that our hearts and our minds be binded in one accord. That on that wonderful day, Great and wonderful day, we can hear with a bold assurance, come be blessed of my Father, for this is the place that I have prepared for you. But in order to enter into that place, it comes with a condition. And the condition means that we must walk worthy within a particular vocation where which Christ has called us. Amen? And one of the conditions that we have called us is to have a clean hands and a pure heart. It is not to have enmity, it's not to have awe, it's not to have hatred or malice with our brothers and sisters. You know, I tell people, I have gone past the state, the, I've gone past the, 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 the heights of religion. Because my elders taught me that religion is only but man's search for God. Amen? Many times we focus on the religion and who religion better than who and who can pray more than who and who can call spirit more than who and who can do this and who can do that. But when that great day has come, what have you done for me in my name? Depart from me, for I know you not. It is not about religion. It is not about this. It is not about claiming about that. It is about God's people coming together for the unification of his word. And as we gather this evening and we send forth a message to you, you know, we struggle not against flesh and blood. But we wrestle against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness, and against spiritual weakness in high places. And we know, we don't have to go through that tonight. We don't have to speak about it tonight. We all know the condition that our country is in. Be the change that we want to see. Something I've learned that, you know, a rising tide raises all boats. And if you want your standard to rise, then you must first rise. Be the example. Don't be a church goer. Don't be a scripture reader. Don't be a clothes wearer. But be an example of the word that God expects from you. I tell people, you know, there comes a time now where we need to stop preach gospel, but we need to start living a gospel life. So the measure of a man is not what, who, what he does on a Sunday, but it's who he is Monday to Saturday. Let us stop become Sunday Christians. Let us stop become bench warmers. And let us start truly serving God in the beauty of his holiness. And today to Santa Cruz and to each and every one of us that are viewing, let us bind our hearts and our minds. There ain't no time to play church. There ain't no time to compete with anybody. I tell people the only person you're supposed to compete with is the person that you were yesterday. To become a better you because it is not about and you know the reverend but i said it all so perfect ain't nothing about who better than who who wearing clothes ain't nothing of this sort of that kind of thing it's about a relationship between me and god i'm watching bishop basil and i'm watching bishop sylvester and i had the world to say about them what am i doing what am i doing and if i get bad talk here yeah? And I could say all manner things about it. It means that I'm just as bad or probably even worse than you. So you know a story I read, and I want to share it with you. A story I read where there was a painter. He was really good at painting. And he wanted to know how good he was. So his mother told him, paint a picture and put it at the corner where everybody passed it. And he did that. But when he did it, he wrote a note and he said, if there is any fault in the picture, just put a mark on it. When he went back by the evening, he saw a whole set of marks on the picture. And he became really, really despondent. And he wanted to give up painting. And then his mother told him, put back the same picture, but change the wordings. And he said in this wording, if there is any fault, correct it. When he went back the evening, there was no marks or anything on the picture. What it says to us, it is always easy for us to identify faults in others. But I tell people, it's something I preach in my church and something I say wherever I go. I love Michael Jackson, man in the mirror. And I always tell people, before you say things about people, look in the mirror and say it to yourself. 
And if you don't like the response you get from the mirror when you say to yourself, then don't say it to your brothers and sisters. You see, sometimes in life we talk about the ones with the guns and we talk about the ones with the this and one with that and we don't realize that we using our tongues and killing men. And sometimes for me, that is the worst that a man could face. You don't ridicule people. The only time you look down on a brother family in Christ is when you offer them a helping hand to bring them up to your standard. Amen? So tonight we pray that God will continue to strengthen us. We pray that we will continue to bind our hearts and our minds in one accord. And let us continue to do the things that is worthy and right in the sight of God. In no other name but in Jesus. Amen. We are climbing. of Cantaro, a pleasant good night. Tonight, as the bishop said, salvation is here. You see, plenty of times when salvation comes, we refuse to accept. But today is the day, and today is the acceptable day of the Lord. Will you allow it to pass by? You might not get another chance. You might go home tonight, and when you wake up, wake up in the morning, you hear your neighbor passed away. And you will say, that's the last night I saw him. Be careful. The word is here. It has come to your door. The scripture said David speaking. And David understand that he has fallen short of the glory of God. And David went down in sackcloth and ashes and asked him God for forgiveness. And he's asking God to create a clean heart and a right spirit within him. So I come to understand that there are some spirits that are not right. It has some spirits that are not clean. And these spirits are warring with us. These spirits are what we are fighting. These are the wicked spirits that are taking our children's lives. It is taking our family. It is taking husbands. It is taking wives. And it is separating villagers. Kantara is a small village. Everybody knows everybody here. But we're living with hate still. What caused the hate to come in? Because we don't have no love. The Bible tells us in the last days, many, the love for many will wax cold. And love has gone out the door. But here it is. It is telling us in Corinthians that the warfare that we are fighting is not carnal. And if we are not fighting carnal warfare, we cannot fight in the flesh. We need to use spiritual warfare. We need to use spiritual weapons to fight against the enemy of darkness. Because the devil is roaming and he has come to steal, kill and destroy your family. And if you don't get into the paling of grace, you're going to lose your children left, right and center. Blood is running through the place. We got to use some spiritual warfare. What is spiritual battles? What is spiritual weapons? Spiritual weapon is simply prayers. Pray. Call on God. The word of God is mighty in pulling down strongholds. Use the word of God. Get into your Bible daily and call on God and save your children before it is too late. Mothers are crying out. Fathers are weeping. When you look at in the school, the children are being born. 
belongs to God. Solomon said vanity, vanity, all is vanity. When you look at the news every day, is something going wrong. What are we doing? The church and all seem to have been failing us. The church is more wrapped up in dressing up and playing church. And when you look at the church, they resemble the wall. So you cannot tell wall the people from church people. But the Bible tells me that we must be renewed by our mind. We cannot be conformed to this world. We can be in the world, but not of the world. But some of us don't like change. You see, because in change, you just have a process you have to go through. In change, it just hurt sometimes. And when you have change, for certain things to change, you just have to mash up some things. When change comes, you just have to let go of some family. You have to let go of some friends. We're talking about changing and looking, looking onto the heart and the finisher of our faith. We want change, but we're depending on the government. No government could save us. It's only God. It's only God. Vote for God. Call on Jesus. Get on your knees and call on God. And he said, if you call, he will answer. But you're going to call with sincerity of heart. Too many times we play in church. But the Bible tells me that the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. When Jesus was leaving, he said, I'm going to send the comforter. And he's going to lead you into all truth. And greater things that I have done, you can do. I remember the apostles walking through it. And when they were walking through, people was being healed. It didn't have a touch. They're just walking. And just the breeze healing people. What's wrong with us as Christian people? We may be the only Bible some people will ever read. You're very right when that somebody going into a Bible shop and going to buy a Bible. We, our life, our life living. We're speaking about salvation. Some people tell themselves that when they baptize, they save. But salvation is an ongoing thing. It's until the end. You could baptize and still not be saved and still here. Depart from me. I know you not. Because you're living a life not pleasing to God. We come tonight, and I have come all the way from Guadalajara to tell you how sweet the name of Jesus is. But only in a believer's ears. And he promised to soothe sorrows and heal all wounds and drive all fears away. But you got to trust him. you got to trust God. Trust God. What are we doing as a people? We're looking for help here, there, and everywhere. But the man we're supposed to look at, we, we, it reminds us as Adam and Eve. When I think about Adam and Eve, they're having two trees before them. The tree of life, which is Jesus. And the tree of good and evil, which is the world. And they choose the world. When they could have eaten of Jesus, plenty of us still eating from the tree of good and evil. It's time to stop it from the tree of good and evil and start eating from the tree of life. Pillagers. All those looking on. God is coming. And he's coming to pay every man according to your work shall be. So if you work for the devil, you have pay to get. And if you work for Jesus, you have pay to get. And I just tell my congregation, I don't want no stone answer to my name. But plenty of us will be like in the days of Noah. Animal going in the earth and men outside. When Jesus comes, we go still be saying, that is not the Christ. You see, because we can't understand the voice. Because Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. But if you're not in Christ, how are you going to understand his calling? How are you going to understand when he calls you? We're still running. And he promised he's going to send a spirit of illusion, you know. And the spirit of illusion is here. And we see people leaving. Good food and going after hot food. Pray for the 
children. Every time I hear a young child laugh, life is snuffed out and hurts me. Because I know what that mother is going through. Can a mother, mother tender care, see so as the child should be It doesn't matter how people may blame your child and cast your child, but a mother's love for her child will always love the child. But pray, pray and ask God to cover you all in the beauty of holiness. This is a prayer of my heart. The good of our wedding band, the good of our wedding Children and praying for them when they go and they, when they are coming in? 
You know, we have to change our mindset because of the, the battle is in our mind and the devil plays with our mind. And when he plays with our mind, it goes in, in our heart and then we start to do the emotions. You know, it's time for us to put down violence and pick up love. Loving one another as Christ has loved you. God is love. When you read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the talk about charity. Charity is love. And we have to start to pick up the love within our spirit. Because God is our spirit and he deals with spirit and in truth. He is the way, he is the life, and he is the truth. So you're not going to revenge. My message to you tonight is that God is, Jesus is coming. He is coming. And he's coming to prepare people. Prepare your minds. Prepare your body, soul, and spirit so when he comes that you can be able to say, Come ye, my good and faithful servant. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. And love ye as Christ has loved you. Amen. Lord, when I get dead, when I get dead, when I get dead, I will sing on shout when I get dead. Hallelujah, praise the Lord when I get dead, when I get dead. When I get there, I will sing and shout when I get there. Hallelujah, praise the Lord when I get there. Oh, will you be ready when the bridegroom come? Will you be ready when the bridegroom come? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. To my senior bishop, bless the night, Reverend Charles, King Shepherd, Ray Prophet, the whole house of Israel, a pleasant good night. And those that stand by to hear the word of God, God's people, bless the night. To the village of Kantaro, our happy home. Hear me? This is our happy home. Satan have a desire. Or hear what the word said. If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then I, God, will hear from heaven and I am going to heal the land. Our land, you know we cry out, the land on the healing, our village. This thing has hit home. It has hit home. Our village is in the need of healing. Not too long ago, it was a privilege to be part of a march to pray for peace in our nation and especially our village. Truly, God did have a prayer and did it didn't stop, you know. But somewhere are the, uh, the order. We recognize, well, the devil here coming, so we just put on the arm and he strike again. But we had to tell him to get out of Babylon. Because Babylon kingdom coming down. Amen. We got to seek first the kingdom of God. And all his righteousness. And all good things will be added unto thee. If you want deliverance. We have to love one another. Deliverance will come just like that. We got to love the enemy. That hard eh? That my son hard. They going to say the brother talking madness. But my Jesus said, you got to love your enemy as you love yourself. The neighbor you hungry, you got to feed him. The sister want a piece of clothes to put on, and you have it in a box, take it out and give her. We talking love. 
And whatever you do for the neighbor or whoever, you don't have to talk about it because you become a reproach unto the nation. We becomes a reproach unto the nation. And you see Satan have a way that he will come into God's people. He's looking for the slightest gap. Hear what I hear tonight. Religion. And that is our biggest failure. Religion. We must shine in on them that play mass on Carnival Monday and Tuesday. Because it's a beauty show now. It's no more putting on God's garment and walking the street. But we want to shine. We want to be glittering. And if we are glittering, then we are filled with God. But Jesus said, give me your heart. And I, God, will give you a kingdom. I want to hear the word said, if you should hear my voice. Had not your heart. As in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempt me and they prove me and they saw my works, God said, 40 long years, I was grieved with that generation. And it is a people who had done all in their heart. And he said, Within his word, they will not enter into my rest. But something happened in her. Oh, Lamb. Of God, my son, I must remember thee. I must remember that body broken for my sake. I must remember thee. I must remember. You see that body that was broken for thy sake. Because when God says the canopy of heaven, there was none that was found worthy enough to pay that price of sin. And God sending his only begotten son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin. Then he condemned sin in the flesh. He told Nicodemus, the word tonight tell us about the flesh. Jesus in a conversation with Nicodemus said, listen, he that is flesh is flesh and he that is spirit is spirit. My Lord, I say unto thee, you must be born again. And my word to you, you must be born again. And you must be born of water and of the spirit, or you can't enter into the kingdom of heaven. Master, how can a man be born again when he is so old? Can he enter into his mother's womb a second time and be born? But Jesus tell Nicodemus, marvel not. I say unto you, you must be born again. You see the wind blowed, where it listed, and we know not the song thereof. Hear what? As Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness, so too shall the Son of God be lifted up. Thank Almighty God tonight for the opportunity to join with the people of Kantaro Village. I go right on Blackwood Street there. Right there. This is where I grew. I know everybody in this village. All my youth were there to go spend on Blackwood Street. And when God had called me, you know, I move on in Christ. But somewhere along the lane, along the way, there was a stumbling block. And here's something. I fall long, eh? And I fall hard. But God, in his infinite mercy, 
I want to voice a return. Oh, holy dove, return. Sweet messengers of us. And I said within my heart, I heard this sin that made the mourn and drive me far away from that place. And tonight, here I am. Just as I am with heart, what thy blood was shed for me. And I was shed for me. Said, what thou bids me come and thou. Amen. Me, dear Lama, oh Lama of God, oh Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Huh? You too can come to Jesus just as you are. Silver and gold, he want. He want a broken and a contrite heart. God will not despise. And my word and say you before I take my exit, seek post, kingdom of God, and all his righteousness, and all good things shall be added unto you. I must thank the proprietors, Mr. O'Brien, for giving us the opportunity to be here tonight. The Santa Cruz police must say thank you. Although, you know, we will still have this on the 22nd, there was, there was a change in date, and you know, they were sympathetic. When I went back to the station and let them know the date of change, they said, go ahead. All they wanted to know is from when to when, and we give them the time from when to when. So we thank Almighty God, all those that stand by, my sister, Alana, truly, I thank God for you. You said to me, you had something to do, but you're gonna try your best and be here. And I see that you come. You didn't come because of Pastor Cletus. You came because you love God. Praise the Lord. You didn't come up because of me because we don't do good. But you come because you love the Lord. And I pray you continue serving God. Amen. King Shepherd the Prophet, thank you. I remember one time when you tell me, very soon we will be coming to Santa Cruz. And Rabo, Rabo, you will be in the lead. And that was so long, but tonight here I am. And I thank God. I thank God. So I'm going to hand this part of the service to my senior bishop, who's going to take the boat back inside. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Mary, we panatamo. a night to you on the, that is viewing us on the social media King Shepherd pleasant night 
the person that conducted this mission today, Bishop Brazil, Bishop Mohammed, for coming, <laughs> Reverend Samuel Sheppy, and all those of us that is here tonight, a pleasant good night. To you, the people of Cantaro Village, some people came all the way from Guaya Guayari just to share a word with you. And then you have the churches of this area that came to gather to share a word with you. Sometimes when we look at life, just tonight listening, I, I, I got to realize it had serious action in, in this area. But sometimes you get so much into the thought of just talking about what's happening and, and just talking and just talking, it turns to gossip, but it's not helping. And as it is not helping to the mothers that have lost children and, and are being invaded, uh, your tears is not in vain. God is listening to your cry. So tonight, while I sing Mary weep and Martha moan, God is hearing your prayer tonight. But don't let it be a prayer as in, well, it's happening now and, and I don't know what to do. And you're, you're getting in a shell and you're hiding yourself and you're staying away from your normal activities. But get into God. Get into God. Tonight we want to tell you that in, as in the book of Isaiah chapter 1, come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. It doesn't matter what you did yesterday or last week or last month or last year. What matters is God. And since all that matters is God, Isaiah is saying even though your sin be red as scarlet, I, God, will make it whiter than snow. Even though your heart be red as crimson, I, God, would make it whiter than wool. Someone told you tonight that you, you could use vinegar. You could use bleach. And long time, we don't have it so much these days, but it had the bleach, the bleachers. Where you will put the, the stain white clothes. And you will get your salt and your lime. Yes? And you will use it in a particular way. But I want to tell you that if we have something that is better than that, you have heard it since we came here. We have the power and the blood of Jesus. And it's the same power and the blood that will make your heart, make your life so clear and so clean that you today would be whiter than snow. We have extended our voice. We have called on our God. And even as we are going, we have reached about the, the time to depart we pray God that the words that you have heard tonight would not be words in vain we pray God that even as you, you walk from the spot that you're standing going to your several home you would begin to ponder on in your heart about Jesus there is a lot of people that saying well they say Jesus coming Jesus coming, Jesus coming, especially the older ones, since are small are hearing Jesus coming, so when he will come again, but if you look at the signs that is around you, if you look at what is taking place in the world, it's showing that the Bible prophecy is coming to pass, and if the Bible prophecy is coming to pass, one of the prophecy that the Bible speaks about is that Jesus is coming again, and you want to be in right standing with Jesus, get in line. Get yourself in the right place. Stop walking as the ordinary man, but start walking as a child of God. Give your life to Jesus today. Give your life 
to Jesus today. Give your life to Jesus before it's too late. Because too late, too late shall be the cry where Jesus of Nazareth have already passed by. I'm singing a little thing for you before I, I close in prayer. Kill a soul. Take heed the warning on. for the time will not be long. Oh, how sad to face the judgment. Be prepared to meet our God. Kill a soul. Take heed the warning. For the time will not be long. Oh, how sad to face the judgment. Be prepared to meet our God. Praise the Lord. Before I close in prayer. In the district that I, I am bishop of, we have three churches in, the, in this close vicinity right here. So when you walk just down the road here, you have one church which is Mount Olive. You can visit there. You can visit there. And if you don't want to go there, that's all right. That's all right. But you walk down the road and you're from this area, so you know where PPO is. And when you're going to PPO, they have two churches inside there. One is, is, Mount, it is Mount Mariah House of Prayer. And the next one is Mount Bethel Spiritual Baptist Church. You can go there. And if there is someone that just wants to go a little far, a little far, that's okay. That's okay. I'll give you the closest so that it will be close for you. But if you want to go a little far, go down to the Quasi. And when you reach into the Quasi, go and ask for a mighty worker. And when you get into that mighty worker, Tell the driver you're going to the church on top of the steps. Tell him make it easy for you, you will pay. And he will carry you so you won't have to climb up no step. And when you reach there, it's Mount Mariah NESB Church. And you will be able to have worship. You want to change your life? You, you just talk to the ministers. And then you will hear about the, the steps to change in your life. It's not about the building. It's all about you. Salvation is a personal thing. You heard it tonight. Salvation is a personal thing between you and your God. God's desire is that no man, woman, or child should perish, but that all should have everlasting life. So I'm about to close in prayer. At this time, think of yourself. You're among people. You're in a crowd. But find yourself all alone. And think of yourself before your God. And as you think of yourself before your God, we're going to pray. And just before we pray, in the valley, yes, Lord, me alone. Me alone, me alone, me alone uh, in the valley, valley oh me alone. your valley experience in the valley, 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 yeah. valley, 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 Lord uh, me alone, me alone, me alone uh, in the valley, hello me alone, holy God. Uh, in the valley, valley, oh, me alone. In the valley, valley.
Gather here today. We thank you. Thank you, thank you Lord. We thank you for good weather. Lord. We thank you for your welcoming spirit. Lord. We thank you for all that was done, Lord. all that was provided, Lord. the instruments that we can use to send out your voice, Lord. the instruments that we that was used that people can see us even though they are not here. Oh Lord. Lord. Lord, we thank you, oh Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank, thank you. Lord. We thank you for all those that came out and stood around and listened. We thank you for those that didn't come close, but they were in a listening range that they could have heard your word. I pray, God, that you intervene in hearts tonight. I pray, God, your troubled souls tonight, Lord. Look at the needs of your people, O oh Holy Father. Those that are lost, draw them, O oh blessed Lord. Call them, O oh blessed Lord. that was here tonight Lord every church that was here tonight Lord St. Francis Lord Mount Mariah House of Prayer Lord Mount Bethel oh blessed Lord Mount Mariah Spiritual Baptist Church Lord any church that I forgot to call oh blessed Lord we ah yes Lord Zion oh blessed Lord we thank you for bringing us we thank you for keeping us. We thank you for receiving us. We pray God our words went out. 
and because of your will and purpose it will not come back void to you Lord but it will it will complete the task that it was set out to do in no other name but in Jesus almighty name we thank the Lord and most because let matter to our souls the bread of lies May the saving grace, love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest in our lives. Dismiss us, Lord, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon thee. The Lord be gracious unto thee and grant us peace in life forevermore. Amen and amen. Oh, me and Jesus, we have a good thing going on. Than the me and Jesus, we had it all work out. Thank you for coming, me and Jesus. We have a good thing going on.